Hey friends, there's a chance this may be the last Faith video. And if it is, that's okay. It's been a really fun journey. Like many of the games we play together, this is another one that has really changed the way I look at horror and how horror can be presented in a game. And you guys were right. This is a really, really special game. It depends on how long this last part is. I actually have no idea what the length is, but I know you guys are down for it and I definitely am too. I hope things have gotten better for you throughout this playthrough though, like in life in general. And if there's like a good route routine or habit that you started doing that recently you've stopped doing for whatever reason, pick it back up again. You can do it. It is not too late to give it another try. It's so hard to make a big change and have it really stick. But there will be a point in the future where this change you've made is no longer something you have to force yourself to do. It will be a part of your daily routine and you'll look back and thank yourself for not giving up. I have stuff in my life that I'm trying to focus back in on, so I wanted to bring it up with you guys because maybe we're all going through something similar. We got this. We're on the same team. So here we go. Here is part three. Well, chapter three, this is like part four, I think, for us at least, of Faith, the Unholy Trinity. Okay, here we go. No idea what to expect from chapter three. But uh, I think things are going to continue to spiral. September 21st, 1986. I don't need to tell you that this assignment is top secret. Based on what I saw during my previous visits, we could be in for a very long night. This is a flashback, I believe. Is this your first exorcism? Yeah, back to the first exorcism that took place before the first part. I'll give you a word of advice. Follow my instructions with exactness. Don't trust what you may see or hear. I'm reading it because, um, it's a little muffled through the car. My is itchy. Ah, here's the house from part one. Look at this animation! Good lord, it's awesome! I, I never get tired of looking at this game. By the way, guys, I am doing way better. I'm, I'm no longer sick. Here we go. Show us your daughter. Hmm. She's in the back, I had to tie her up. Imagine being a parent and having to tie up your child because they're being possessed. Talk about traumatic. Maybe I should let father lead, or... Okay, I'll go first. Here we go. Why... Okay. Right, I'm not gonna question it. Do I have my cross? I don't. Hello. I feel like Amy could break out of that at any moment. Respis had me demonium. October 28th, 1987, three days until the profane Sabbath. So he is reliving that in his nightmares. John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a ritual on them to call forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of that demon is Malthus. I am in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. We must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy, Father Garcia.
this game really has a... It has a tone, and... Obviously, it has a presentation unlike anything I've ever seen, but, but the tone is also, like... You wouldn't think it, but it's a very, very serious game. Um, and incredibly dark and blasphemous at the same time. John, I can't find Nate or Jason Martin in the state foster care system. It's possible that, after what happened last year, they went to live with relatives. I will try to find out what I can. Meanwhile, go investigate the clinic where Amy worked. We must find the place where they intend to summon Malthus and disrupt their plans. Via con Dios, Father Garcia. Okay. We can do that. To the car we go. Uh, you know what? No. Let's not leave. Maybe I missed something. Ah. We did. Have you forgotten already? Things are never quite as they seem. If you can't discern truth from lies, you could try remembering what you know to be true. Press escape or start button to review your notes. Okay, yeah. We know that. Let's go check here real quick. I just want to make sure we're not leaving any stone unturned. Um, I'm going to check the washing machine. But I have a feeling... Yeah, okay. Alright. Let's head out. I'm glad you guys like this series. Um, I think these... These longer playthroughs are something I definitely want to continue to do, but it's not going to be as common as the shorter games. Here we go. Also, underrated the music in this game. Very simple sound design, but they're, they managed to do a lot with it. Oh, man. Is this where she worked, Amy? Those ain't no blies for you, Blyger. Airdorf is the guy who made this game. Very funny. Can I go in anyways, though, and just tell this guy to... Oh. Can I get hit by that truck? Let's see. Secret ending? Yes. <laughs> <More of this. laughs> so not, not a secret ending, just... Another way to bite the dust, I guess. Also, is this a legal, a, a legal parking job here? Alright. Yeah, I see. That's funny. Very funny. Okay, let's see what we can find around town. Looks like a great part of town. Of course, what do we got here? This is a dead bird. Okay. Doesn't really tell us much, though. But that's okay. Oh. It's not dead. Oh! Did he kill that bird? Did you kill the bird? What do you mean you had no choice? Okay, this is definitely a... a bad part down. Jeez. Okay, I'm pretty sure that graffiti says... In the balls. Does this just loop? Indefinitely? Or can I go in any of these doors, possibly? Uh-huh. Okay, well, let's go ahead and just... Cross that one off the list for now. You guys like the new back room, uh, background I went with here? I want to change it up for part, uh, chapter three. Okay. T9. I'm wondering if any of the stuff on the graffiti I should be paying attention to. Oh, that was close. Okay. Playing Frogger over here. B? Beals? Beals Fest? Okay. Calling all metal fans, 
BL's, oh, BL's a fest. 1987 rocks the hell out of Hartford. Friday night, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Good lord. Featuring appearances by When All Is Said and Done, Trust No Corpse, The Horror Is Dead, Basement 2. Ah. Big improvement over Basement 1. Return to Bondage, Among the Bloodied, Lying Still in Silence, Mother of Shadow, and The Door to Afterbirth. Advanced sale tickets are three bucks. Uh, and then door price is five. So not exactly making... Well, I guess back in 1987, that's a... 20 bucks, probably. Alright, so we're gonna enter in the back way. I feel watched. Oh, yep. Yeah. Big Ched's right there. Watching me. I'm recording this late at night. I'm just not tired, so I was like, let me record another episode. Facts to Rhonda Erickson from Gary Miller. Hi, Rhonda. Just a couple of reminders after last week's visit. Please keep your desk tidy. Our patients need to feel at ease with their health care experience. Remember our sales points. Clean, quick, courteous. Do not return any calls from the Department of Health before notifying me first or leaving a message with Tiffany. We cannot afford another surprise inspection. Please do call me on my direct personal line if you happen to hear back from Miss Martin. One more thing. Keep Jeffrey out of sight. Remember, Gary loves you. Remember, Gary loves you. Okay. Not something I would think you would send in a fax to a coworker. I see. Okay. Boards over the door. Thank you for that apt description. Okay, it is really quiet in here. Look how they're creating. Let's let's talk about this though. Look at how they're creating the effect of light leaking in through a dark building, shadows being cast in a game with essentially like Atari visuals. Like can we just appreciate that for a second? That's brilliant and the effect absolutely is pulled off here so bravo look at that that's so cool I, I i never even thought that something like that could um okay that is an ultrasound of a baby there's another one it looks like he's gaming on a setup or something he's got the crt he's playing melee the hell is that that's billy Boards over the door. Yes. So what? Got a crowbar? And that's why that chair. I was. I was gonna say, why is that chair so pink? And then you and you walk over to it. It's because the light is leaking in. That's brilliant stuff. Um. Crowbar, okay. Um, I want to just make a comment and, and say that there is something to be said for creating cool things out of limitations of, of the hardware or, you know, whatever situations you're working with. Innovation is born from those types of situations. Like, for example, my, my, my favorite kind of example to bring home that point is Silent Hill 1. Silent Hill 1 would legitimately not be as good or as scary of a game, especially atmospherically, if they had an unlimited budget and didn't have hardware limitations to work with. The fog system in that game was born out of a lack of budget and PlayStation 1 hardware limitations. And it's one of the most iconic parts of Silent Hill. We wouldn't have even had it. You know, so more is not always better. Creativity. Oh! What is that? Oh, we got the... I'm on a gurney? Oh. All right. Oh. Oh my god. I need to hide. Hide? I 
I'm behind the curtain. I guess he could just kind of pull open the curtain. What is that? Why did he put me on a gurney and then bring me into a room and then leave the room and then come back in the room just to kill me? Maybe he thinks I'm dead? What do I do? I need to hide. Okay, what if I hide all the way in this corner here? Yeah, I'm hiding. Don't breathe. Oh, he always goes over there to check. Oh, he's got a... He has a... A very specific pattern. Don't go to the left. I think I should have left. And now... Well, now I'm afraid to go. Okay. We're gonna go. Go! Speed racer! Go! Come on, Billy. Good lord! What is that thing? Oh god. I'm trying to hide. I can't get up the steps. Oh god. No! Yeah, I get it. Okay. Okay, this time I'm hiding all the way in the left here. No ch Well, let me not speak too soon first. I was gonna say no shot he's gonna see me, but... Go back into the room. Leave me alone. But where do I go? I can't go up the steps. I'm still on the little thingy. What do I do? I can't get up the steps. Oh. Dude, untie me and I'll explain everything. What? You're bringing me in? Can I go this way? Do I have to go with you? Okay, maybe I do. So he broke the boards on that door. What was that thing? Should I have brought the cop into that room so he could Oh! Shoot him! Oh, no! You need to hit him with that! God, your aim! Shoot him! For the love of God! Dude, you are... Shoot him! Oh my god, this cop. Please, God. He's hitting the quad. Get him now. He's literally right there. Get him. Nice. Okay. He ran out the window. That is actually very bad. He got him again. Oh god. He's gonna come out of this window. Come on! Fight me! Oh. 
Come on. Come on. I know you're here. I don't know what the hell you are. I know you're here. Shoot the zombie? No, demon guy? I don't know what this one is. Get him. Get him. Get him. Nice. Look, this exorcism gear works great, but nothing works better than cold steel. Come on, one more shot. Oh, you better pull it out. Pull out the musket. Dude is shooting like a stormtrooper. Oh, God. Please get this gamer. Dude, I'm literally playing Ring Around the Rosie while... You're gonna get eaten by this thing, and then and then I am not gonna feel responsible whatsoever. I don't even think I'm actually doing damage. I think I'm basically just trying to halt him so this guy can get a shot off. Basically. Right? Right? There we go! Now we're talking. Good shot! Okay. They lit his car on fire? Oh, look, Remy. Oh. Is that the cop? Oh, I think that's the cop. Okay, well, that is... I guess we don't have to go with him anymore. That works. What is with this city? I, I, don't, I don't... Okay, we're gonna get back in the car and head out, I think. Um, I think we've done all we can do here. I thought that said Amy. Yeah, let's leave. Okay. So what did we learn? Oh. So what do you want me to do? The book? Where? Oh, on the floor over here. Look how clean that animation is. So we're just gonna keep doing this, but apparently this exorcism fails. Jesu Christi. Yeah, this is gonna fail. Yeah, get out of here. Leave. Oh! Those moved! Okay, you guys gotta come with me. We need y'all to go upstairs, have a cup of tea, just relax. Yes. Yeah. What is this? Alright, stay here and pray. Yeah, make them feel like they're doing something. We gotta get back because this situation's getting out of hand quickly. I don't like those things. I don't like mannequins. Oh! This is our cross. Take it and save her. Oh my god. This is what starts everything. Oh sh. She's gonna wake up again? Yep. 
Good Lord. October 29th, 1987, two days until the profane Sabbath. And here we go. This is getting so good, holy crap. Oh, this is getting so good. What is in there? I want to know. John, for now, this is the only way I can contact you. I think they're watching me. I need you to come over as soon as you can. The situation has gotten much worse. My address is... There it is. Lisa. P.S. If for some reason I don't answer the door, get the spare key from my friend Tiffany. Tiffany... From... Who worked at that place? That we were just at? John, there's an apartment building in New Haven where they may be attempting to summon Malthus. I'm not able to go there myself. It's up to you to stop their rituals. Father Garcia. John, I don't know if you're getting my letters or not, but I hope you'll be here soon. I really need your help. They're in the apartment. I see them all the time now. I can hear them in the darkness. I haven't slept in days. When you get here, just come straight to my place. Tiffany can't be trusted. Don't talk to my neighbors either. They won't let me leave, Lisa. Oh, God. Here we go. So this chapter has a different setup. It's like almost like mini experiences within like within the chapter itself. Very cool. I like it so far. Um, it keeps the horrors quick and the pace is very good. It's a very well paced chapter so far. Oh, by the way, guys, I don't know if I was telling you a while ago I, ha I was having car troubles. Um, I did end up getting a new car. It's it's a bright green car, which I really like. I like something, you know, unique that stands out. Um, and I went with a Honda Civic. I wanted something dependable, right? Uh, I'm not a car guy. I don't know much about cars. And, yeah. I like the Civic. It's dependable. It's got good gas mileage. And it's bright green, which I, I like the color. It stands out. I, th I think it's me, you know, uh, which I like. This is an interesting sound. Let's go ahead and read that letter. Um, notes. I want to see something. Okay, if you've forgotten already. Apartment building. Uh, apartment 5A. Um, spare key for my friend Tiffany. Where does Tiffany live? Just come straight to my place. Okay. Should I trust her, though? Tiffany can't be trusted. Don't talk to my neighbors either. They won't let me leave. Should I trust her? Is she possessed? 5A. For some reason I don't answer my door, get the spare key from my friend Tiffany. Okay, I'm not sure if I should trust her though. Okay, I don't know where Tiffany lives though. That's the, that's the tough part. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough one. Okay, to be or not to be, that is the question. 5A is what we need. So can I use this elevator? I... Can? Good elevator music. Gotta have good elevator music. If you like playing games, the first floor is a great place to start over. However, to play the game, you must know the rules. Beware, if you have a if you have a susceptible soul, you might get pulled in. And the first floor is a great place to start? What are you talking about? This apartment is absolutely filling me with dread. It's locked. Tiffany would have to be in 5B, right? I, I I think there's only two apartments on each floor. Okay. But then she says don't trust Tiffany. 
they have a cross out in front of her door. Maybe that's what she's saying by they won't let me leave? What is happening? Six B. What is it? on the walls? Oh God! Elevator friend named Timmy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is he on floor seven? I got a bad feeling about Timmy. He does not look friendly at all. So I finally have my own place in the city. No more annoying roommates. I have a whole apartment all to myself. The building's nice. It seems new. Neighbors are kind of weird, though. They're always coming around bringing food and stuff. It's actually making me a little sick. Another thing is the mirrors. They're everywhere in the halls. Oh, yeah, they're all broken, actually, now that I'm walking through. It's nice because I can look around corners, which makes me feel safe, but it's still weird. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but when I look at myself in those mirrors, I feel like it's not me in the reflection. Of course, when I came home from work today, the elevator didn't work, so I had to take the weird one-way stairs all the way up to the sixth floor. Then I noticed all the mirrors were shattered. There is no seventh floor. Then why does the elevator go up to ten the tenth floor? Alright, we're gonna try that immediately. Can I keep trying it? No, it seems to play a random sound effect. Let's try floor eight. I don't know why there's no seventh floor, but let's try floor eight. I couldn't get into floor five. I don't know where Tiffany is. Those who keep knocking on forbidden doors will be visited by the one who guards them. I don't think that's a knock, though. Are they referring to floor 7? Like, by me trying to access floor 7? I'll be visited by the elevator buddy? Oh, this door's open. This apartment is easily the creepiest place, or this apartment complex is easily the creepiest place in the game so far. Our sister Tiffany has gone against the will of the unspeakable. I thought I could trust her, but I was wrong. Proceed with the original plan. The woman in 5A will be our vessel. Let her pious friend come to rescue her. The unspeakable shall crush them both. Her key should be here. This is Tiffany's, right? This is Tiffany's apartment? Maybe not. Okay, I don't think it is. Okay. There is something really, really, really disturbing going on in this apartment. And I have no idea what it is. To floor 9 we go, and then I guess floor 10. I should probably check the other floors too. I'm realizing there's a lot that I might need to do. And I don't want to meet up with the elevator buddy. He looks like not a buddy of mine. Oh, well, this person's just festive. Williams Family Newsletter, October 1987. If you're reading this, it means you've been invited to the Williams Family Annual Halloween Block Party. It will be held on Halloween starting at 5 p.m. in apartment 9B. Activities will start promptly, so please do not be late. If you plan on bringing a plus one, please let me know in advance. Only friends and family, aka those who receive this newsletter, are invited. Also, just a reminder that this is a family-friendly event, so please leave all overly scary costumes and masks at home. Timmy is still traumatized after last year's incident. Timmy? Also, I respectfully ask that you keep alcohol and cigarettes out of the apartment. 
We do not want to repeat it last year with the power going out. Please bring treats but no tricks and just another friendly reminder that anti-religious or satanic imagery will not be allowed in the apartment. Please be aware of Timmy's diet and food allergies and please be aware that he suffers from asthma so please do not sneak up on him or try to scare him again. He still has trouble after what happened last year. Good lord, what happened last year? You will also notice he has a new imaginary friend. Oh. When you see him, please just roll with it. Timmy's therapist says it's healthy for him to have a coping mechanism. See you at the party. Can't wait for you all to meet Mr. Miller, who's been... who has taken to Timmy so well and has become like a part of the family. Oh, God. Um, that imaginary friend, huh? Hmm. Interesting. My mind is racing as we speak. So this should be floor 10. These doors are not marked. At all. Are these admin doors? Maybe office buildings? For... People... That own the building? Oh, God. Sacrifice what you cling to. It's locked. This is locked. Okay. Let's go to four... Uh... Fourth floor, yeah. Because I gotta investigate some stuff. So... Tiffany is gone. I wasn't able to get another key from Tiffany? I'm not 100% sure if that was her room. I have to go back and check some of the notes. But let's see. 4A I don't think has anything interesting. We'll go ahead and check 4B and C. That was really creepy when it said that there's no floor 7. That's... That's odd. And it's also odd to me that floors... It looked like Timmy's little elevator buddy was also somehow related to floor seven. Let's go to the third floor. We're just gonna, you know, tie up all the loose ends and, and see what we can find. Before we kind of double down and think of what we need to do to progress. Okay, something tell- Oh, 3B is open! Okay, someone just throwing cigarettes in the corner, that's good. First thing I'm gonna do is turn that TV off, because that's annoying. Good. Can't do it. Let's grab this key, that could be to the top floor, or that could be- Oh, is this Tiffany's room? This might- What? Okay, the game just saved. This is either the key to Tiffany's room or the key to the managerial office at the very top. Um... I'm gonna wager to guess that that is Tiffany's room, and that's the spare key that we need to get for her, um, apartment. So let's go ahead and head back to floor five. Man, I am not looking forward to what is gonna be in the apartment here. I believe it was 5A, I think? 5A? Yes. Yes. Oh, no. A seal. Can I pray it away? I can. A sword? And some sort of mask? Okay, let's follow the arrow on the ground. 
If you wish to break the seal of Alu, your answer lies in the bloodstained knife and the face hiding in the deep dark. But only those who have ascended to the highest point can descend to the lowest depths. Remember, Gary loves you. Gary from the... From the place that Amy worked at? Yeah, something is absolutely going on there. So by highest depths... Hold on, I think I can use my thingy here. I saw water dripping. Never mind. From the highest depths, obviously, or the highest point is referencing you go to the managerial's office. So let's go there first. Um, I think we'll get one of the items and then maybe we have to go... Down? There's no basement floor, right? Do -do -do -do. This game is getting good. I mean, it's been good, but every new chapter impresses me. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Oh, God. Basement Dumbwaiter. How to use. Pull up on the handle to open the hatch. Place item or being to be sacrificed inside the container. Pull down on handle to close the hatch. Press button to send Dumbwaiter to basement. Light will blink red if done successfully. Please make sure your sacrifice does not jostle around inside the container. Do not open hatch once Dumbwaiter has reached the basement. I do not have enough earplugs and I am tired of people losing them. Please wait for the green light to come on before using. Okay. Give up the cross, yes. Okay. Alright, buddy. All the way down. What the hell is that? So what does this do for me exactly? Oh! Oh! Can I go to floor seven now? Yes! Oh! Gary lied to us when you see it run. Oh my Billy. I saw it. Okay, well good. Uh, it's, a camera. it's a camera. Oh. Oh Billy. Dear God. Oh, that door's open. I knew it. Oh. Huh? What? Why was I randomly in that room? Done like one stab. 
Okay, this is actually incredible. I am not going to use the camera. There we go. Okay. I think the camera kind of alerted them. Oh, God. What the hell did I just even see? Oh! Scared me. Hold on one second. She's scared. She's scared. Hmm? Alright, pumpkins. We need your co-pilot for the video. They love when you're here anyways. Okay. Why am I in this room? Can I leave this room, please? Oh, here we go. Okay. I don't know where to go. Oh, I see. Wasn't I just here? I'm bleeding. Oh! What was that? Uh, I want I want the note. I can't pick up the note. I can't. Okay, it's fine. Did I just disappear? What? I've seen you before. Mother. Dear God. Mother. Mother. Don't get stuck on anything. Dear God. Oh, this part is so cool. Like, I can't get over how well this is done. I'm bleeding again. Am I trying to get to the end? Or to the left? Oh, there's a note here. Can't pick it up though. Oh, I can't read that. Okay. Until the lights come back on, I can't like pick that stuff up, it seems. And now we're descending into the absolute pits. My cross. Boom. Now we're talking. And this is the mask. Good. Can I get it? I can exercise it. Good. 
Okay, good. Now we need the sword. So there's a lot of stuff that was all throughout the apartment complex that I do need to take a look at here. My beloved Gary, alas, uh, alas, the mask is already stained with blood, my blood. The ritual is complete. You will not find me on this mortal plane for I am beyond. Look for me in the unseen world if you dare, Tiffany. Okay, Tiffany. Well, you are the worst. Dear God. Do I have to watch the candles? Okay, that was weird, but he didn't appear again, so whatever. I'm not gonna... Not gonna question it. Is that Tiffany? That thing? I feel like that's... Hello, Mr. Ward. I'm sorry to have worried you. I am perfectly fine. I have not been feeling like myself lately. However, I'm much better now. Please do not trouble yourself with coming to visit. I have decided to take an extended vacation in the country. Uh, so you will not find me at home. Sincerely, Lisa. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, Lisa, I don't know about that one. Something tells me, uh... A little fishy. Something's a little fishy here. So we're gonna go back over here and kind of go the way I came, because there's a lot of stuff I missed, I think, um, since grabbing this. Like here... This part was really creepy. I might have to check my notes, though, because there might be something else I'm forgetting that Lisa mentioned. Brothers and sisters, this month will be host to a very special visitor. This month we will be host to a very special visitor. It is here to help prepare the way for the coming of the unspeakable. Of course, due to its special nature, it has full access to the entire building, including your apartments, bedrooms, etc. If you are lucky enough to see it, you would do well not to approach or speak to it. Find a dark or dimly lit area and try to stay out of its way. One of you will be blessed to find it has made its home in your dwelling. Do not go down into the hole it will make, no matter whose voice you hear down here, down there. If you believe one of your fellow brothers or sisters is inside, please notify me and I will retrieve their remains in a timely manner. Also, just a reminder that rent and utilities are due by Friday. Love, Gary. Gary. Can't forget the rent. Right, Gary. Hmm. That's Chester. Hey, Chester. He's ready for bed. He's like, Dad, why are you up so late? Oh, there it is. The sword. Looking for you. Oh, my God, I didn't go back and do the mask. Great. Every initiated follower knows that in order to bring about the second death, one must sacrifice seven blank by passing them through the blank carved out in the impure vessel's face. Then shall the unspeakable reward blank with the second death. Such was the fate of that of Amy. My beloved Gary has set his sights far too low. I will surpass her. Okay. So, I have to go back and do the mask. Uh, okay, so we just did the mask again. The seal is done. We gotta go up to the floor, or the, yeah, the 10th floor, and see what lies in wait. 
read that one already. Okay, so I think the creature is gonna appear again here. I'm not 100% sure how to handle it when it does. Yes. For sure. It seems to just immediately... Get me? It's something to do with the candles, but if I leave the room, I basically die, so... We need to figure out exactly what to do here. Oh, please don't tell me I have to do the sword again. Please don't tell me I have to do the sword again. Don't do this to me. Because this guy walks at, like, basically a crawl. You can't do this to me. Do you know how much I sacrificed? Oh, come on, man. Ugh. Alright. I'm gonna skip ahead, guys. So I'm fighting the guy right now. It is the candles that kind of determine. Uh, so we gotta beat this thing first before we move on. Unfortunately, I have to do the stupid, uh, go all the way up and get the sword again. Which, man, that's not fun. That's not fun. Tiffany? Right? Okay. So let's go back up and get the sword. Here we go. What is behind door number one? Lisa? Lisa, dead got your alright. Well the door was sealed. I got here as fast as I could. Let's go, Lisa. Lisa. She is hitting the Quan, the Gritty, and everything in between. Oh my god. Oh my god. I see, this is actually turning into- I thought it was gonna be really easy, like basically she's just like slowly walking towards you. But there's actually quite a system to this boss fight. Okay, we can do this, though. I'm figuring it out. It's basically going to send clones to all the fake ones. It seems. There we go. Come on. Let's watch carefully. It... Fight it, John. I just happened to guess right all the other times? Did I just happen to guess correctly? So it's not... I wonder how you figured out that. Okay. How was I supposed to know that? I'm trying to figure out how you're supposed to know which one he ends up going to. Damn. No, 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 no. This is really confusing.
You gotta be kidding me. We get it, you're not Lisa. I didn't think he could hurt me like when I was doing that. Oh, these balls are so hard. Thank him, John. Okay, I gotta focus up here. Got him. I still don't know how you figure out, like, which one is which, but we're just gonna roll with it. Got it again. Good. Okay, Lisa, good thing you're as slow as dirt. Even the okay, that make sense, but whatever. I get it right again. Unfortunately. I got it right again. Is it the first one? Oh, he's still alive. Damn, this guy's tough. Come on, you can do it. Pull yourself together. I'm in focus mode. Is it the first one? It might be. It might be the first thing he enters. I like how I'm just like grooving. Okay. It's top. No. Alright, there's no rhyme or reason to, to, to this at all. Yeah, that made no sense. No! I can damage him as he's approaching me, though, which is huge. I got no clue. If 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 anyone in the comments knows like how to tell which one it is, please let me know because I I don't see any rhyme or reason to it at all. It seems to be totally random. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go, baby. There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. No, that needs to not go out into public, please, God. Lisa? We gonna talk? Oh, okay. Well, that exorcism went pretty well. I've heard of him. Mm. Oh, okay. Gary's trying to resurrect a horrible demon. Oh, I sense a demonic seal was broken somewhere beyond. Another demonic seal is broken. What does that mean? Beyond? Floor seven? No. Hmm. I wonder what he's talking about. Demonic seal. 
I remember they were talking about something about the beyond in the basement. But... Let me exit and just see. Maybe it was just let me leave? Maybe he's not talking about the apartment complex. Maybe he's talking about something beyond the apartment complex. That's what I'm getting by the word beyond. Because we, I mean, we searched everywhere in there and there's, there's no other seals, you know. Okay, another flashback. For remembering what happened. Oh, God, who is that? Is that Amy? It didn't look like her. Oh, God, there she is again. I don't see her in here, so we're going to go upstairs. God, it's quiet. Mr. and Mrs. Martin. Oh, that's cool. Hello? Bob's glasses. And just like chapter one, Hello? I still... Got something behind me. Oh, God. Hello. Hello. Is this... This is a master bath. Amy, are you in here? Amy's room? I don't remember anything further. Oh, because he this is still something he's remembering. Okay, I see. Up here? Oh god, I hate these things. You're, you're at yes, I am. Is Meredith the person in my house, like, behind the door that I say I shouldn't go in? Good lord. Toying with me. And I lift the cross. Good lord. It's like saying, yeah, wave your, you know, wave the stick at me. You know, it's not going to do anything. I'm not afraid of you. Legitimately terrifying stuff. Who's Meredith? Is Meredith in here? I'm not going in there. You couldn't save her, could you? Cause cause my character got quiet when she said that name. John, I'm getting reports of children exhibiting strange behavior at the daycare center on 4th Street. If Nate and Jason are there, then you can bet that there's the place that they're try try some in Malthus. There's no time left. Go to the daycare and find out what is really going on. Fear not. Father Garcia, we can do it. Alright, to the daycare we go. <sighs> what lies ahead, I have no idea, guys, but, uh, you know, I'm grateful we were able to take the journey together at least, right? And the cops are rushing there. They've got the whole place barred off. Um, they're not going to let me in easily. Let's go ahead and see if we can, can't enter through the back. Man, look at this. 
It's an absolute standoff here. All right, good thing there's a break in the fence. We'll figure out what's actually happening here. I can't get over how cool that apartment complex section was. What a game. This is just... The... You know... The brilliance and uniqueness of indie developers. It, it's like... Bigger games don't get to take risks like these, and this is just such a cool concept for a video game that I'm so happy was made. And thank you guys so much for um, really, you know, asking me to play it and just, like, you know, please, big game, check this game out, check this game out. Absolutely. I hear you. I see it. I see the brilliance. I see why it's special. I'm with you. A riddle, priest. How do you make a portal to hell? Come see me and I'll show you. Okay, that's not really a riddle. The tunnels await. What is that big red guy? I don't like how quiet it is here. Oh, God. Gary loves us, of course. Mother Moon watcheth her little ones behind a door of sleep. Daughter Chalice is filled, an offering to the master in the unseen world. Spirit Bird arriveth from afar and cometh back to roost. These vessels are the unholy trinity. The fallen star shall guide them. What colors can you see? Look at the children if you are lost. Okay, that is definitely going to be a... A puzzle here. Look at the children if you're lost. Look at the children. Mason, age six. Welcome, children. Here you go this way. Red guy with the chalice. Tyler. This red guy's in all of them, my dream. Meet our shining stars. What the hell? That thing up there on the top of this picture. We've seen that guy before. Is this that thing that they're trying to summon the unspeakable? Our family, and there's the red guy. Oh my god. Okay, remember when I said the apartment complex was the creepiest part in the game? Wait, what? Thanks, Satan. Okay, that definitely just switched sides. Okay, so what do we know about the puzzle we're trying to solve? I'm not even really sure what exactly we're trying to solve, necessarily? I have a... What? Come on, man. <laughs> that was so excessive. Good lord. All right. The fallen star shall guide them. Spirit bird arriveth from afar and cometh back to roost. So is it just moon, daughter, or moon, chalice, bird? Oh, the moon is orange. Chalice is pink. 
star is red. And then the bird, I think, is blue? Good puzzle. This is where it lives. Well, hello to you, too. Gate just phasing in and out of existence. Good. Hello? I cannot get over that police scene. That is ac actually hysterical, though. It's so over the top. And the animation of your guy just getting riddled with bullets is hysterical. She consumes six little twigs. Only two were left to walk as husks. Go ahead, priest. Stare into the eyes of my mother. Stare at D's. I'm at that. Oh. Hello. Do I have to stare at her for a long time? I do. Better look at me when I'm talking to you. That's right. Staring contest. I'm so... Gamers, are you hanging with me? We're not blinking yet. We're not blinking. Oh god, I want to blink. Oh my. If you're still hanging with me. Oh god. Okay, we won. Oh my god. That was actually a really creepy scene, though. Well done. Are we going into another sewer? Is this what this is? Another sewer? Huh? I've had enough sewage. Sewage. Gaze upon the magnificence of La Pieta Carota. <laughs> Could not have said that, uh... Any more mayonnaise-ish. This beautiful statue depicts a faithful member of the Order receiving the second death in the loving embrace of Et... At matter. Two such statues were commissioned thanks to the generous patronage of the Save family. We saw them in Chapter 2. We invite everyone to reverently approach the statue whenever they are in need of rest. Okay, so... That saves our game, basically. If you're reading this, congratulations, you've officially been granted Tier 2 status in the Eternal Order of the Second Death. Upon crossing the threshold from Tier 1 to Tier 2, your life... As an alkalite will change dramatically. You may start noticing shadowy figures in the corners of rooms or experience feelings of lost time when holding sharp objects. Ancient symbols written in blood will materialize on the floor and walls of your home. Animals will no longer trust you. You may emit a foul odor that will cause your former loved ones to avoid you. These are just a few of the marvelous blessings that await you in this new stage of life. If you remain loyal to Gary, your journey toward becoming a vessel for the second death will progress to new levels of knowledge and power. Remember, if you neglect your weekly meetings or do not pay your tithes to the Order, your fingers will be forcibly bent backwards. Gary loves you. Sounds like the nuns in the Catholic Church. Laugh. Okay, okay, yes. I know Gary loves me. Thank you. Can I move these? Y'all playing chess? Okay. Gary loves me. Yes, yes, yes. What do we have here? Owl man? Pot man? And goat man? What did that do? What did he say? Or dog stirreth his pot full of sinners, the seats resolve. Andrus some soweth discord, east and west trade places. Oh! Five seats in the north facing west, five in the south facing east.
Bale giveth favor, the low seats are made high. Oh, this is a tough one. This is a tough puzzle here. Um. Okay, so we have Bale. I'm not sure which one is... Poor dog stirreth his pot full of sinners. Let's see what's to the right. These guys are easy to deal with. They can't really do much. Okay, so I have to solve that puzzle, basically. Okay, let me get some time. I gotta think about this puzzle. I don't know why that just happened. Was that supposed to happen? What did he just inject me with? Now you are ready? There's no way in hell I'm going back in there. Okay. I didn't think I even solved the puzzle, did I? What, do I just leave now? Past the gate? That scene was like something out of the ring. And it was so... Oh my god. God, that scene was so good. Is this where they're summoning him? Deliver two into Moloch's hands before opening his navel. To what? Filthy alkalite. The substance of Gary's influence flows through your veins. You are corrupted beyond repair. Your family and friends have forsaken you. There is no returning from the path you have chosen. Only Gary can save you now. Give up and fully let him into your heart and mind. If you do so, he will make you into a vessel worthy of the unspeakable. I think that's that big thing. That big red thing with a bunch of different appendages. Um, and we saw him in the that like weird ring-like messaging. Resist and your soul will be lost forever. Welcome to tier three. So now we're a real gamer. Do I have to look at you for a long time? I don't think so. We need to deliver two of something, though, and I don't know what... Oh, God.
Okay, is this one of them? I am very suspicious. I don't understand. What? Were there always three statues there? Oh, no, he... Okay, there's a gamer there. Okay, that's not a statue. He's a tier three sub. Okay, so let's try this again. Um, He's not as easy to fight as one of the regular Alkalites. Um, he's obviously evolved, so... We're gonna go ahead and let him power up here, just like they do in Dragon Ball Z, and hopefully we can get... We need to kind of do damage, but stay far away enough where the tentacles can't get us, or we can kind of move up and down in response to that. And then we should be good. So not really a puzzle to solve. Oh god, okay. That's a little trickier than I thought. Alright, here we go. I see. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Are we good? I'm gonna go save because I don't trust that at all. And I don't wanna have to fight him again. Oh, she's turning now to face me. That's not good. Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna save here and then we're also gonna put one of the gems right here. Good. Okay. So I'm thinking the, well, let's try over here. And here's another one. That church we've seen before. So I think there's going to be one on this side, and then we go up top and... Oh, he's going to evolve again. Okay. Get a lot of damage. Good. Boop, and then just explode. Good. Let's play red light, green light. Let's not. You said green light. You just said green light. Alright, All right, now they're cheating. <sighs> Come on. Come on, gamer. There we go. Damage, 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 damage. I'm supposed to not move, right? Red light, green light? Dude. Okay. I get it. It's red light, green light, but she doesn't... It's frame one! I, I can't believe we're playing red light, green light with a demon. Go ahead. Turn around. I don't trust you. 
Oh, get... Yeah, let's do a green light real quick. Thank you. I'm, 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 I'm gonna play it super safe. Good, look right at me. The goat man? Oh, no, no. I don't want two of the gamers. No! Are you kidding me? Oh! Oh! More of this. Okay. I finally got back through the room. I'm going to go- I- I, I didn't even bother fighting them, I just ran past them. I'm going to go? Oh, she's looking at me. And I'm going to go place the gem here. But I think I need one more, right? Yeah. I think I need one more. Okay. So we're going to go up the paths and figure out where the third one is. And I think that should give us access to wherever they're trying to... Oh, God. Okay. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. I don't understand. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. More what is going on? That big floating thing I can't fight, I don't think. I- at least I point the cross at him and nothing happens. Oh, I can. Okay, run! <sighs> come on, come on. Where are you? Where are you? Can I... do enough damage to him to, like... How much health does he have? Okay, maybe I can't. I don't think I can. I think I just have to get lucky with, like, where he appears. It doesn't seem like I can- I can kill him. Either that or he's got the most health out of any enemy in the game. I've been wrong before. Uh... Okay! I've been wrong before! So 
I gotta defeat this spirit guy. Right. I don't understand. That doesn't seem to be hurting him anymore. Oh, there we go. Okay. I bet I have to defeat that big guy again, don't I? Oh, no, I don't. Okay. He's dead. Good. So how do I get this thing? Get him? Was that a glitch before then? Because it wasn't like letting me use my cross on him after a certain point. I don't know. Whatever. We got the gem. Let's get out of here. This ending um, chapter is brutal. Dear God. I would have been so mad. Oh my God. I would have been so mad. That guy's not coming back, is he? I really hope so. Or I really hope not. We just need to get back. Give him the gem. Yep, you're messed up. I kind of want to see the other painting, though. Let's go look at it. Save the game. Of course. Let's take a look. I'm, 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 just, I'm curious. What do you look like now? Oh, you just kind of blew up. Alright, that's fine. Oh, this is brutal. Brutal. They definitely amped up the difficulty. And this game was never easy. Master of Spirits, the body of the mother stayeth suspended beneath the crucible of the profane Sabbath. If thou canst unlock the final secret of the crucible, know ye this. The cross hath the power to weaken the mother, but only someone who is ablaze with purifying fire canst truly destroy her. If thou canst understand these words, thou shalt know the true cost of thy faith. Okay. You are now a tier four alkalite. You have descended beyond everything that you could po beyond everything that could possibly save you. Your words are not your own. Your actions are not your own. You belong, body and spirit, to Gary. Your face itches for the warm embrace of the ritual mask. You long for the blinding pain of the knife. You truly are Gary's chosen vessel. Fear not. Only a little longer, and you will experience the second death. Gary loves you. Gary. Partake of the dark. What do we got, Gary? What you got for me? I've heard a lot. Okay, so... That area was not... This area was not where I came from. Um... I don't know why I thought that's what it was. But it's not. So I think there's an item I need down here. I think that's where my confusion was. And things are just getting very dark as I descend here. But I need to be quick. I feel like that darkness is not good for me. So I'm sure we get a light source of some kind, I would assume. There we go, lantern. Okay. I do not even remotely want to know what that is. Okay. 
Okay, alright, okay. Alright. Okay. Oh, jeez, that's unsettling. And what are those, like, purple guys in there? They remind me of, like, the Oni from Al Oni. God. There goes the bird. A human bird? Am I outside? Oh my god. I'm following the red blood trail. I'm just assuming that it might lead me in the right direction. Oh god. I have no clue where I'm going. And I really hope it's somewhere in the right direction, dear god. Okay, so I'm like slowly picking apart this seal. Are there more red things? I need the path. I need the path. Where's the path? I'm off the path. Oh, yeah, we're lost. Okay, that's not good. Give me... Oh, here we go. I do not like those bird things. They're like people? Nope. Nope. Where are you? A shack. My dearest colleague Jacob, thank you for the letter. I am delighted to hear of the success of your venture in Pennsylvania. However, it was not enough to persuade me to join your cause. I have no interest in, cr in crumbling ghost towns, nor government experiments, nor the gibbering behemoths that lurk shamefully in the darkness between worlds. Such matters are not worthy of my expertise. My methods may be more delicate than yours, but I assure you they were given to me straight from the source. The Antichrist will step forth very soon. The second death will consume this world, this pitiful fleshy sphere still in its infancy yet everlastingly too late to redeem. When the time comes, I hope we may reunite as cohorts, albeit not as equals. Love always, Gary. P.S. I almost forgot to thank you for the pet. I will keep it outside my private quarters as a guard against intruders. Is that Gary in the middle? Interesting. Oh god. the hell is that? Gary's pet. Is Gary's pet gone? Okay, so I found the shack. But I don't think there's anything in the shack that I can mess with. Okay, so we gotta head back then. 
I am completely lost, though. I will concede that. The red markings on the ground are the closest thing I have to some form of guidance. So I'm going to continue to follow them. Oh. Man, I'm, I'm all types turned around then, if that's where we are. Okay, but that's good, though. Where did that go? Here? Yes. Just follow the red. Don't worry about anything else. Especially those gamers. Reminds me of a Zelda sound effect. Like when one of the bosses in Zelda Ages and Seasons dies. That's what it sounds like. I really do not want to get hit by one of these things. Oh, I feel like one more. We're just going to head back to the right. They're like slightly slower than I am. So as long as I don't misstep, should be good. I think we got to go to the right here. That was the easiest one. Okay, please let that be the last one. Please let it be the last one. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful. 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 Nope. You're not gonna crash my party. Here we go. The door. Oh, the door with the eye on it. Yes, open the door. You try really hard. How do you make a portal to hell? What does that mean? What is... What are those things? That's not, tr not trees. Gary? Hello, Gary. I hear thee? John, son of man, what dost thou wish? Is this God? This is too much for me. I am so afraid. Please let me escape this place. And the girl? I just want to go home. If I leadst thou to safety, her fate shall be sealed upon thine head. Amy. I'll do whatever you want. Just take me 
away from here. Swear it. I swear it. Is that God? October 31st, 1987, the Profane Sabbath. There's Gary. My name is Gary Miller. So you're the one behind Dalsis. In the name of the Lord, I demand to know what the hell is going on here. <laughs> I think so. Fine, you'll get the request job, but no more. Injection or Gary? Let's ask about the injection. Okay. It, is it a drug? The boys are Malthus. Malthus. And then my final question. Second death. A living newborn. Does that have anything to do with why Gary was working at, I think that was an abortion clinic? Or... Is he fighting me? Spiders! Is that Wiener Man? Oh, not the spiders. Dude! I'm still wondering what was in that injection. Oh crap. Go, 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 go. I'm still wondering, like, what exactly was in that injection. But apparently, I, I think opening the portal to hell was had to be something to do with why he was working there, you know? I can't think of another explanation. I remember that guy. Was, I, I wonder if that was Malthus, you know? This game is such a cool tone and atmosphere. It's okay, we're 
good, we're good, we're good. Got our cross. We're doing a lot of damage. Oh my god. How do you even dodge this? I just dodged it. What the hell? Malphus? I don't know who's Malphus. I'm just guessing. I don't know what the hell that is. Maybe that's the unspeakable. No. Take damage. Damage, damage, damage. We got him. Father Garcia? Hold up! I agree. Oh, I'm not afraid when you got that. That's what I've been needing. Yeah. Part of it went away when I defeated one of the demons. Were there other demons? something. Yeah, so were there like two other demons I was supposed to get rid of? I didn't... I don't remember seeing any. So did we seal it back up? Oh man, my dude's traumatized. Right, so we didn't get the best possible ending. where those two other demons were. We're with, we're with Father Garcia now, though. That dude's lit. He came in with the strap. Maybe we can regain our confidence with Father Garcia's teachings. Wow, what a game. I wonder what I missed. I don't remember seeing any other demons like him. But I could be wrong. Man, um, guys, what, what a game. I, so, 
you know, I, I've, I've made it a point where I'm not really trying to get all the endings here. Um, we do have some sort of a conclusion. Uh, but yeah, well, I mean, let me know. What do you guys think? You know, not, not the best ending by any means, but, um, you know, it's, it's something where, like, the reason I'm not going for all endings is because I want to, uh, you know, continue to move on to different experiences and, and, and show you guys all sorts of really cool stuff, elevate lots of very cool indie games. Uh, but I would still love to know, like, you know, your thoughts, um, maybe we can watch the ending together or something like that. We got ending number one, a new purpose. Yeah, maybe we can, like, watch the ending together or something. Uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I would love to hear your opinion on the playthrough. I would love to hear if you guys want more long plays like this or if you prefer the short ones. Um, if you guys want me to react to, like, the best ending of this game, let me know. We might be able to do something like that in the future. Or if you're cool with the playthrough and you can check out the... Uh, ending yourself just you know it's it's really a time thing it's me wanting to move on to different projects and stuff like that so uh, guys as of now that was faith the unholy trinity um, what an incredible experience unlike anything I've ever played before um, yeah still kind of stunned incredible third chapter like each chapter just got bigger and bigger um, Really cool stuff, guys. I love y'all very much. Please be safe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.